Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Simon Volt. I'm the Director of Sales here with V Technologies. I have Moses Webb, who's our sales executive for our Macola interface. And we uh, welcome all of you joining the call this afternoon and spending some time with us. Uh, today, we're going to have a, a follow-up demo um, in regarding uh, Macola and Starship and how it can help really process your in international shipments um, using an LTL service. Uh, Moses will take us through a quick presentation uh, to give you a little bit about uh, who V Technologies is, a little bit about the Starship highlights, um, and then we'll get right into the demo and kind of show you the processing when it comes to LTL processing and how Starship can help generate your international documents such as your commercial invoice along with your NAFTA certificates and so on. <clears throat> Before we get started, a um, couple things. Everyone is on uh, listen only mode. Um, everyone is muted. Uh, we will uh, leave some time at the end of the presentation for questions and answers. Uh, we will try to get to everyone's questions as best as we can with time permitting. Um, so if you do have a question, just please um, ask in the box by your name um, and we will address those at the end of the presentation. So without further ado, uh, Moses, um, the floor is yours and here you go. Alrighty, thank you, Simon. And uh, greetings and good afternoon to all. Uh, so as Simon mentioned, today I'm going to uh, take you through a, a pretty brief PowerPoint here um, to show who we are at V Technologies and a few Starship highlights. And of course, after the PowerPoint, I will leave my uh, contact information and also open the floor uh, so we can conclude to any questions. All right, so without further ado, So uh, V Technologies, we uh, have been specializing in integrated shipping solutions since 1989. Uh, we are located here in Connecticut. So all our sales uh, support development is done in-house. We have been working in uh, the McCola space for uh, well over 20 years here since the mid 1990s. And we currently have well over uh, 10,000 customers as well using our software. V Technologies is uh, also a strategic UPS uh, ready provider and a gold FedEx certified solution. Uh, so both UPS and FedEx uh, provide subsidy amount programs in which uh, can be used towards Starship um, in terms of purchasing. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, please touch base with your representative uh, to inquire more about the subsidy amount programs and the information because they are a uh, great programs and uh, tools that can be taken advantage of. So some quick um, Starship highlights here. So first and foremost, uh, you will be transitioning over to a more uh, ERP integration, more robust. Um, so Starship will allow you the ability to access over <clears throat> 25 different LTO uh, options and integrations. Uh, you will also receive the USPS module um, out of the box with Starship, and this will uh, grant you um, access to discounted USPS rates um, that we can uh, definitely discuss and, and dive more into detail if that's something that you're interested in. Starship has the ability to do line item integration, and with that line item integration, uh, Starship will be able to streamline your small parcel, uh, LTL, international, uh, hazmat or EDI orders and documentation. Starship will also allow you to, to batch process and rate shop between the different carriers we support and display your negotiated rates uh, with those carriers that you have. So if you're currently processing EDI orders or are interested in EDI or using a WMS uh, system, Starship is the software that will provide you with uh, an automated integration and process there in terms of bringing over that information and also uh, providing that information for your EDI um, uh, orders as well. So along with the solution itself, uh, you will be able to take advantage and enhance your brand uh, with our two additional features. Uh, one is eNotify and the other is Dashboard. Uh, and I'll quickly uh, cover that uh, towards the end of the demo as well. So also, uh, centralized deployment with support for RDP and Centric. Uh, so if you have multiple locations, uh, Starship will be the best solution for you, uh, your company, and most importantly, your workflow there. And to the last uh, bullet point here, um, that is our SQL extension that we offer. 
So with our SQL extension, uh, you will be able to uh, write queries against Starship and pull information in place information, uh, such as the tracking into uh, specific fields or tables that you need. So in terms of international, um, here are some of the features in the documents uh, that we provide uh, through Starship. So we'll be able to print out your commercial invoice. Uh, we can generate your SLI, your NAFTA, and also your certificate of origin as well. We also support uh, FedEx and UPS paperless uh, billing option. And along with that, uh, we also uh, support the ACE integration for commodities uh, that are valued over uh, $2,500 for the government. And just to uh, quickly give an overview of the EDI integration, uh, Starship can generate SSCC uh, codes there. Uh, we can print your GS128 labels uh, if needed, and we can also generate your ASN number uh, as well. So below you will see a few of the EDI solutions that we work in conjunction with. Uh, so if you have any EDI questions, please feel free to reach out to me afterwards, and we can discuss, and I can answer those for you. So again, we work with over 25 different carriers um, with a direct integration. So here's just a, a view and a list of a few carriers that we work with uh, directly. All right, so that concludes uh, the brief PowerPoint that I have for you all. Um, so again, I'm going to jump right into the demo here and Alrighty, so today I'm going to walk through a demo here with uh, Macola ES. Uh, so for the progression users and the Macola 10 users, uh, keep in mind that the process that you will see today with Macola ES is uh, identical to the workflow and the process that will be done uh, with your version as well. So keep that in mind. So as I mentioned in the PowerPoint, uh, Starship has the ability to process your small parcel orders with uh, UPS, FedEx, or even uh, using our discounted rates with the post office. Uh, but one of the key features with Starship is the ability to process your LTL and your international documentation. So with that being said, uh, in this example today, I actually am going to walk through an LTL shipment uh, that is also going to be shipping international. So as you see, I have a simple sales order here, or excuse me, I have a simple orders inside of Macola. I have two line items down below. And in the order header here, in the ship via, I have it mapped to Old Dominion. And just to show the shipping address, I have a Canada location here for international. Alrighty, so here is uh, Starship. Here's the uh, multi-mode single application. Uh, this is where you'll be able to process, again, your small parcel, your EDI, uh, your international, your LTL, all from this one portal here. So to bring over that order from Macola, I can do so in a few ways here. So if that order is uh, scannable, I can scan in the barcode, and that will populate here in this input field. Secondly, I can click on the magnifying glass, and this will open up a list of all my open uh, orders inside of Macola. Um, so that view will allow you to uh, select multiple orders. You can even filter what uh, orders you want to see in that view, and that will allow you to batch process. Or lastly, I can go ahead and simply enter in the document number of that order into the input field there. Alrighty, so in this top left quadrant that I'm highlighting with my mouse here, Starship is going to pull over that order header information uh, from that Macola order, and we're going to map those fields accordingly. So in this transportation uh, field down below, we match to that chip via field and that billing information. Right below that, we have our sender information with the company uh, name. So here's where you can uh, set uh, different uh, shipping. If you're uh, blind shipping, you can show a different company name. 
And then down below, we had the recipient, which was uh, pulled directly from that ship to field in Makola. And so right now, um, our address validation tool is happening behind the scenes. Um, so right now it's grayed out, but here we will validate the address for you. Um, or if you decide to go ahead and process it and ship, we'll also validate uh, the address as well. Uh, because it's international, again, it is grayed out uh, because we can't validate that address for you. All right, so jumping down to the packaging view, uh, Starship has pulled over all the line items and populated in this view here. Uh, so in this example, I have two line items being auto-packaged inside of Starship. Uh, so currently this is a uh, preset inside of Starship, uh, but with WMS systems such as uh, exact WMS, Starship will auto-populate that uh, packaging scenario for you from the systems uh, and that will be displayed in this view. Now you can also simply pull over those two line items on that order and import it all into one box. And in this view, uh, you can add a pallet, you can add certain, certain packaging. You can also remove packaging as well. And in this view, you can also drag these line items into different uh, boxes and also drag the boxes uh, if you have multiple pack pallets here as well. So right now you're seeing that the custom box here is highlighted, which opens up the packaging view up top. So here's where you will set uh, those pre-packaged um, information, or if you want to go uh, on the fly here and add the dimension and the information, such as the weight. That information on the packaging will be set here. But if I click on uh, this line item, this break line item here, you notice the line item tab is going to open up. So inside of Starship, uh, we try to pull as much information as possible um, through Macola regarding uh, the specific line items. So however, however, if you don't currently populate your line items in Macola, or uh, say have a separate table that holds uh, that specific information, uh, you can take advantage of uh, our SQL extension uh, to write a query to pull that information or if you wanted to write back specific information, you could do so. Uh, but Starship also has uh, its own inventory or the database uh, that is going to store this information. So fields such as the uh, item number, the description, the unit value, that is being pulled directly from Macola. However, such fields such as the unit weight or the MFC code or the class for uh, LTL and uh, documentation, and also fields such as the Schedule B or the HTS code uh, is all being stored inside of Starship now. So as you see, this was pre-preset uh, uh, pre here. So that way, whenever I bring this line item over, Starship is going to know that um, this line item has information and it will automatically populate that so you wouldn't have to keep re-importing in that information. All right. So because this is an international order, uh, the international tab up top opens up. And so here's where you can set uh, certain broker information. You can also set the duty and tax and the account to the bill to. And also, as I mentioned before, that ACE integration is also taking place down below here. So right here, you will see uh, commercial invoice information. So if you wanted to add certain comments or if you wanted to just view the commercial invoice in terms of uh, what fields and what it will look like in terms of printing. This is where you can view that information. So I'm going to jump over here to the rate shop. And I'm going to click shop all. So by clicking shop all, Starship will go out and populate your negotiated rates uh, for the carriers that you have purchased inside of Starship. So as you can see, Starship has requested the rates directly from those carriers and populated that information here. Um, so as I mentioned earlier in regards to uh, the post office and having access to those discounted rates, um, here in this view is where you will see those rates being brought up, um, also along with uh, the carriers that you have purchased and the negotiated rates as well. So one key feature inside of this rate shop is that you have the ability to view <clears throat> both your rates all on one screen. So right now, uh, this is an international order, so you're seeing international services uh, from these carriers. But in this view, I can sort by the carrier, 
and group all the carrier and the services together. I can also sort by delivery date. And I can also sort by charges as well. So if you notice, um, uh, for example, say I want to decide to click on the USPS uh, priority mail, um, it's as simple as clicking on that carrier and the transportation field will update with that carrier and the information and we'll also print out uh, the labels associated to that carrier as well. So you wouldn't need to re-import uh, this order in, um, you can simply change and adjust here in this view. All right, so uh, this order is all set, ready to process and ship. Uh, to do so, I can click F5, or I can go up to the process and ship button here. <clears throat> and so now Starship is going to update your sources, uh, sources meaning Macola, and then we'll also print out your labels and documentation as well. So I'm gonna actually enlarge this for you. And so here is uh, the commercial invoice. Um, so this is uh, customizable. We give you this template. Um, up top, we have uh, that header information, which is being pulled from Macola. We have the carrier information. We have those two line items down below with the schedule B attached to each, the unit value. And then down below, we also have the billing information as well. And then so right behind the commercial invoice, we have our Starship bill of lading. Uh, so don't mind the furnished settings here. I'm in a test environment. Uh, but here is a Starship's bill of lading. Uh, up top, we have that header information once again being pulled from Macola. Uh, we have uh, that information down below. Uh, if you notice, the two line items were the same class, so they all rolled up onto one line here. And then down below, uh, we also have the uh, charges as well. So for example, this is a uh, Starship bill of lading that I'm using. Um, however, uh, some carriers that we work with, such as Old Dominion, will provide you with a direct bill of lading um, that was actually emailed to me right now. I'm just going to enlarge this for you all. All right. So here is uh, Old Dominion's bill of lading uh, with the information populated from that order. So this is just another uh, tool that you can use um, if the carrier provides that bill of lading for us to grab and populate. Then you have the option to also use uh, the carrier supplied. Uh, but not, we also provide you with, as you've seen, the Starship Bill of Lading as well. And then so right behind the Bill of Lading, we have our NAFTA and our Certificate of Origin, uh, because this was sent to Canada. Up top, again, we had information being pulled from uh, Macola. We have the description of goods down below with the tariff information. And also down below, we have uh, listings required and information as well. All right, so that concludes the shipping. Um, so now you're all set, ready to process your next order. Uh, before I do, let me go back and show the write back that occurred into that order. So in the order header and under the comment section here, we've written back uh, that information. Um, so this is customizable. Um, you can adjust to what you would like to see here. Um, so we wrote the bill laying back. We wrote, <clears throat> we wrote back the ship one two eight yes delivery the carrier and also uh, more information about that shipping down to the pallets and the packaging. And also we have that pro number for tracking purposes as well. And to uh, highlight the freight that was written back, when we go into billing and under the ship tax here, you'll see that we've updated uh, with the information from that shipping as well. Uh, the ship one, two dates, the freight written back, and also the tracking was placed here as well. So inside of Starship, we have uh, what we call freight rules, um, and this allows you to set up certain scenarios in terms of a freight write back that you would like to see. So, uh, for example, if you want to add a shipping and handling fee, uh, you can do so, um, or if you wanted to uh, remove the charges from being written back um, if the shipment is over uh, as well. Uh, but 
but as I mentioned, uh, if you would like to see the tracking information for the freight being written back to a specific place um, or another table, um, that's where you can take advantage of that SQL extension uh, that I mentioned earlier to achieve uh, what it is you're looking for there. All right, so uh, that concludes the shipping process uh, with Starship. Uh, but before I turn this over, I do have um, two additional features to show you um, that come with the Starship license. Uh, one is eNotify, and the other is Dashboard. So first, I'll show you uh, Dashboard. So here's Dashboard. Um, again, it's a data analyzing tool that grants your entire front office access to different shipping reports, uh, shipping information, shipping history. Uh, that's all accessible here. Um, and one cool thing with uh, Dashboard and also eNotify, um, both are browser-based, so they don't require any uh, user seats to be ran. <clears throat> so they don't require any uh, user seats, and this can be ran on as many computers as needed. So whoever needs access to uh, these different reports for history, um, they can pull up this view anywhere that they need. Uh, so I won't dive too in deep uh, to the dashboard piece, but uh, one cool thing to show you, uh, say a customer is calling in asking about their uh, shipping information, uh, we provide you here in this search tool with a number of different properties uh, to pull from in terms of a customer. I'm actually going to pull up an example here for you all. So again, customers calling in looking for that information. I can simply click on that order, and this is where I can view um, down to the detail of that shipment that was processed. So up top, you'll see the shipping information. Uh, we can also see the status of that shipment, days in transit. We can see the carrier as well. And also, there's a proof of delivery here uh, if needed. And then down below, you can also see the packaging. You can also go down to the line items as well in those packaging. You can even see the charges as well. And if you have uh, eNotify set up or uh, any additional shipping options, you can view that here. So this is another cool tool to use. Um, again, I won't dive in deep uh, to this dashboard piece, uh, but we provide you with a, uh, a list of different reports that you can run. And these reports can be exported uh, to an Excel file uh, to have access for those, uh, those Monday meetings that you need to bring into the office uh, in terms of shipping and different things you can do here. Uh, you can also see different performance indicators and also different uh, history and statuses of your shipments as well. Alrighty, so uh, secondly is our eNotify piece. And uh, excuse me, I only have uh, one uh, example here to show you, uh, but here's eNotify. eNotify allows you to customize your email notification and replaces the carrier's supplied email um, so this gives you the ability to brand and include uh, some information from a cola that you would like to place here or um, from Starship that we provide you. Um, so uh, this is just another uh, unique tool that can be ran again on multiple computers. We give you the templates for these documents and you can uh, have full access to what you want your customer to see in terms of an email. So for this example here, I have uh, the order number. I have the service as well. I even have uh, down to the detail what that uh, shipment contained in terms of the pallet and the packaging. And also down below, I have a uh, coupon here to attract more business to the uh, the company. And again, uh, here's just one example. Uh, if you'd like to, you can add your company logo up top. Uh, you can even break down um, down to the line items, what was in this uh, packaging here. Um, the links that we provide you are direct links to uh, the carrier site for tracking information for your customer. Um, so again, this is eNotify. Uh, both eNotify and Dashboard come with the Starship license. All right, so that concludes um, all that I have today. Um, so I'm going to actually turn it over to Simon uh, for any additional questions that I can answer for you all. <clears throat> well, thank you, Moses, and um, appreciate you reviewing that with everyone. Um, 
the um, I do um, want to um, apologize. I knew we were having a there with uh, I think Moses' connection was kind of breaking up. So we'll um, make sure if we if there were some is, you know, issues with you hearing him at all, please feel free to reach out to to us so we can answer any questions you might have or review any information that you might have missed. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to get to a few questions here that have come in so far. Um, so the first question here for Moses, um, we have multiple companies in Macola. How do you select a different company? Sure. And Moses, so inside of... To... I'm sorry, you may want to hold on to the screen, Moses, so that way you can maybe show them. That. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, Sure. So inside of uh, Starship, uh, what you're seeing here, um, down to the company, if you have multiple companies set up inside of Macola, you can select uh, which company to address in terms of pulling over those orders. Great. Thank you. Um, next questions come in. Um, how do I upload doc? I'm not sure if that's short for documents for international orders. Um, so I think the questions around the commercial invoice, the NAFTA certificates um, that you were showing Moses, um, but if you want to review that a little bit uh, further, that's probably what the question's around. Sure, um, trying to get a reference of the question, but again, we, we provide you and we print out those documentation for your international orders. Um, so for the commercial invoice, we will provide you um, with a, a document. And also keep in mind that for, um, say, uh, UPS or, or FedEx and those paperless billing, we do support that uh, for international as well. Uh, but uh, the documents that you've seen in the example, we um, those will be printed to uh, to uh, to either a PDF on your side, or you can kind of determine what you decide to do with the international uh, documents there. Yeah, and one thing I'll add to that, um, I think that was Rachel asking the question. So thank you, Rachel, for the question. But um, I don't think you're not going to need any documents that you might generate today, uh, because Starship does have the ability to generate those specific documents that are needed um, for that specific country. So. Um, so hopefully that answered your question, but if it hasn't, um, please uh, let us know and we can follow back up with you as well. <clears throat> um, as questions come in, just a reminder, if you want to raise your hand, type in a question and we'll answer it. Um, we have plenty of time. We did schedule this for an hour, um, so um, we will try to get to as many questions as we can. Um, again, next question coming in, when populating ASNs via EDI, can you include the BOL uh, trace number? Will Starship write the trace number into the designated McCola SQL table? Sure. <clears throat> um, so uh, in terms of including the BOL um, as a trace number, you can use that as your reference um, with the SQL extension, because I think the question was uh, if you wanted to uh, pull that information and, and to write it into uh, uh, the SQL uh, out of Macola, that's when you would need that SQL extension to code against uh, or to write that query against um, Starship. Um, in a sense, with that SQL extension, you can pretty much pull um, any data that you need out of Starship and, and, and write that back into a specific uh, space or again, that Macola SQL table that you need to see there. Great, thank you. Um, Next question coming in from Hannah, where does the email come from for eNotify? Sure, so the email um, is being pulled from uh, the customer information inside of Macola. Um, that is the email that we're using in terms of the eNotify e piece. Great. <clears throat> so I'll allow for a few more minutes for some additional questions that come in. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch a quick poll. Um, so everyone participate. If you can just, um, you know, take a look at the poll, I'll keep it up for a few minutes here. Um, and basically just answer what you might be more interested in learning more about. 
and what Moses uh, has shown you. Um, so you can see, let me just get it up on the screen here. Uh, you can see that. Be able to see it. All right, so you should be able to see that. Moses, can you see that okay? All right. Yes. Um, so um, if you can just take a few moments and just reply back to the poll, um, and then basically um, so we can follow up with you on what you might be specifically interested in. Um, and then let's see if some additional questions have come in here. Um, so another question here for you, Moses, for clarification, to port directly into Macola, you need to have the SQL extension. Yeah, so uh, for what I think it is you're looking for, and of course we can definitely, I can follow up with you um, on this question and what exactly you need. Um, but for what you're looking for, I think um, in terms of the question, you will need that SQL extension and to write a query against that to pull that information. Um, again, we provide you with a kind of out of the box uh, template in terms of what we can write back um, from a Starship shipment back to Macola and where we can write that information back from. Um, but again, I can follow up with you and kind of go down uh, what exactly you're looking for in terms of the right back, but um, yes, in terms of what I think it is you need, you will need the SQL extension. Okay, great. Uh, another question in here, when creating export documents, will it pull the correct pricing per customer slash order, uh, or is it pulling the retail cost of the item? And most, if I'm correct, it's only pulling uh, what the values of the item inside of Macola, correct? Correct. So whatever item you have inside of Macola as a value is what we're putting onto the export document. So if that item is retail, it's going to show your retail. If the item is your cost, um, it will show your cost of the item. Um, and then uh, Moses, uh, Stephen wants you to follow up with him. So Stephen, we will follow up with you after the call um, and Moses can acquire more information from you uh, regarding that SQL extension piece. <clears throat> uh, so off the item and not from the order, it would need to be modified per order for discounts, correct? Um, Holly, uh, I think to answer your question, we might want to take it offline to kind of clarify for yourself, but um, but we're pulling the individual line items from the order itself. Um, so those totals of those items um, would be reflected on the commercial invoicing as far as your total value for goods. So I'm hoping that answers your question, but Moses again could follow up with you after the call to kind of get more information from yourself as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the poll down. Um, I appreciate everyone voting. Um, and let me see if we had another last question here. Yep, so I'm getting uh, quite a few of you asking to speak uh, to us as well. So we'll definitely follow up with um, each of you as well to uh, inquire um, about some additional questions you might have. So. Um, feel free to reach out to us if you haven't heard from us, but Moses will be in touch with each of you uh, by tomorrow, the latest, um, to get the information needed to see if we can make this solution be a fit for you. <clears throat> um, I use it now, but the price does not always match the order. Speaking after we, okay. Yeah, so Holly, we'll follow up with you after the call as well so we can get some better clarification what's going on um, with your current setup there. Um, all right, so I think that's all the questions we have at this time coming in. Um, so again, I do appreciate everyone joining today. Um, please be on the lookout. A recording of this will be sent out to everyone that has registered, um, including those who attended. Um, so be on the lookout for a copy of the webinar. If there is you know, some additional questions, please reach out to Moses. Um, he can address any additional questions you might have. 
Um, and then again, be in the lookout too for a special promotion we're running um, through the end of April for any new purchases of Starship with McCullough. We are also, you know, offering a special promo as well. So be on the lookout for that follow-up email um, to be sent to you later today or tomorrow. All right. Well, indeed, I do appreciate everyone joining. Um, and we appreciate spending some time this afternoon with us. And we'll be all speaking to you soon. Thank you.